Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday and uh, and actually we're not doing a sales video today to show you what's going out the store. We usually show you what you've missed out on, but this week we're going to show you what you've got a chance to get your hands on. And uh, yeah, it's got some really cool stuff coming into the store, so I thought I'd do a little montage, show you some of this stuff, including this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set here. Got all the turtles up there with this, um, I'm not entirely sure what the name of this van is, I probably should have looked it up, but uh, I'm going to call it the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Taxi. <laughs> uh, you've got all the turtles, there's a couple of bad guys here, you've got April and you've got Splinter on the side. But yeah, really nice bundle. We'll move on to the next thing and show you all the stuff that is coming into the store this week. Next up, we've got a Sonic the Hedgehog Egg Mobile battle set. Really cool, actually. This is obviously Dr. Robotnik, uh, but you can build him in five different ways uh, in uh, association with Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I think all of these bosses were in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, right? But yeah, really cool toy, and uh, yeah, pretty hard to find, I think. Next up, we've got this Alien Extreme uh, Head Knockers. This is like a bobblehead type alien thing uh, made by NECA and made in 2004. So it's uh, very, very nearly vintage, uh, nearly nearly 20 years old. So yeah, really cool thing, and uh, we'll be getting that on the store very, very soon. This hasn't actually been out of the... Well, the box has been opened, but it hasn't actually been out of the box by the looks of it because the bag inside is still sealed. So a uh, pretty cool toy, 20 years old, be coming on the store. Next up, we've got this Halo Waterhog with Master Chief. Really cool uh, toy. Pretty uh, pretty hard to find as well, actually. I think this was made in 2021 but uh, by Microsoft, but they don't actually make many of these things, uh, so they become hard to find as soon as they release. Uh, but we haven't got one. We've actually got two right there. Uh, so, yeah, two of those coming to the store. Hope you enjoy Halo. All right, here's quite a rare one. We've got uh, this messy doll figurine, I guess. It's a figura dacio, which I'm guessing means... Uh, uh, action figure in Spanish, I guess. I'd have no idea. But yeah, we've got this Messi doll coming up. Really nice detail and uh, really looks like Messi and he's got really nice Barcelona shirt. Obviously, he doesn't uh, play there anymore, so they don't make these anymore. Having a look at the back of the box, I couldn't actually find a date on the box. Uh, it does give you an idea of how old this is just by the way he looks in that photo and uh, also the other team members that they made at the time. So you've got Suarez, Iniesta, PK. Uh, so sort of classic players really. I don't know if that's indicative of the players actually um, of the time but it looks like that's probably the best uh, age to put him at. I'm not entirely sure when that is though but I'm sure if you're interested you can kind of have a look back. But yeah, Messi doll, pretty cool. Alright, who remembers this next one? This is Escalado, Escalado, I'm not entirely sure how you say it. Really old vintage horse racing game and um, this one's not the original. The original one actually had uh, like metal or lead horses in it. This one's just got plastic ones, but we'll show you inside and uh, show you what it looks like. Now, I don't quite remember how you play this game, but basically you'd have a bunch of horses. These ones are plastic, uh, as I mentioned a second ago, um, but that's kind of what they look like. And uh, yeah, obviously it's all complete. You can see that. But this is a gambling game. So you would bet on the horses and they go around these stalls. I'm not going to set it all up, uh, but you'll be able to check it out on the website once I do. Uh, but yeah, really cool vintage toy. Like I said, I think they originally made this maybe as early as like the 70s or something like that. And uh, like I said, they would have had metal horses in. But this one's got just as much value and they're just as hard to find. I think these ones are made in the mid-90s, something like that. Uh, but yeah, really cool vintage toy. Escalado. Escalado. Ugh. Coming up next, we've got this Batman Begins pinball machine. Really vintage. Actually, I'm not too sure this is vintage. This is from the first Christian Bale movie, right? Uh, so it's getting there, I guess. They've got school board with it. All electronic, lights up, makes sounds, that sort of stuff. Makes a proper racket. But uh, yeah, another cool toy coming to the store. There wouldn't be Dungeons and Joypads without some Joypads. There's a Mario Kart 8 premium pack for the Wii U. Uh, full Wii U console in the box. Should go well at Christmas, if not before. Coming up next, we've got a whole bundle of plush. This isn't even all of them. I just thought I'd show you a few. We've got a bunch of Stranger Things. These are all brand new with the tags. Um, I think these were uh, sort of from amusement um, like stock, basically. Uh, you've got the... Uh, we've got some My Hero Academia. We've got a whole bunch of Naruto coming on, uh, including this character. I forget his name. It's on the tag. Uh, his name is Kurama. <laughs> but yeah, really cool character. Uh, we've got Stranger Things. And there's even some little ones like a blue eyes white dragon from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, there's Exodia there. There's a few Yu-Gi-Oh's as well. Uh, and like I said, there's a whole bunch of plush. I just thought I'd show you uh, some of the cooler ones or just a few of them basically. Oh, I thought I should mention actually that um, we've actually had all of these on the store before and uh, sold quite a bunch of them. We had another opportunity to buy some more. So uh, these have come onto the store again and added stock. And some things are new like this Mega Man here and 
uh, some of the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff uh, that you might not have seen before. So yeah, some really cool plushies going there, all brand new with tags. Uh, we've also got a bunch of vintage ones coming on as well, uh, so keep an eye out for those if you're into plush collecting. We've also got an absolutely massive stack of books, comics, Prima official game guides from God knows when. Uh, I just pulled out a small pile and I'm just going to go through them. I think I'm going to do a full video on them though because some of them are very, very cool and really, really hard to find and probably pretty rare. Um, so we'll go through them quickly. This is Jade Empire for, uh, I think this is on the Xbox um, only. I don't think it's came out on the PlayStation. Maybe I'll buy aware, but this is the official game guide for it. Uh, we've got Edge Presents, The Art of Video Games show you some of the arts uh, throughout the years that have been really popular and kind of tells you all about them. Uh, so yeah, that's a pretty cool read. Uh, next up, we have an Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, Prima's official strategy guide. Who remembers these Prima's official strategy guides? It's so crazy, isn't it, that you just don't see these anymore. I mean, now, if, if, you know, if I'm stuck on a game, you just look it up on YouTube, you know, or... You know, uh, shout out to Fighting Cowboy for uh, all the help on Elder Ring and the Dark Souls games. Uh, who else have we got? Grab by the Goonies on the Xbox. Who remembers this one? This was like a little fun sort of uh, platformy uh, 3D adventure. Uh, and then we've got a whole bunch of these Japanese Godzilla comics. Now, this is why I wanted to make a full video on them because I think these are really, really cool. Um, and these are basically just, I don't, to be honest with you, I'm not really entirely sure. Special Graphics Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Uh, so let's have a little look through some of it. And I'm not entirely sure if it's about the movie. Um, there's a whole bunch of like artworks and photographs in here about how the movie was made. Um, how Godzilla was made, I'm assuming. I mean, obviously I don't speak Japanese. I struggle with English. But some really cool um, sort of pieces here, I, I think so. So I'm going to go through some of those um, on, on another video, I think. We'll have a closer look at them because I think these are really nice and really cool. And uh, especially if you're into Godzilla. Here's another one as well, uh, Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, and again, I think this is kind of just showing you how the films were made uh, and all that sort of stuff as well. So, having a quick flick through there, as you can see, like, uh, again, it's in Japanese. So, yeah, we've got a massive stack of these, and um, I'm going to really enjoy kind of going through these actually because I think they're really interesting, and I've never actually seen anything like this at all before. So, uh, I have absolutely no idea of what the value on them are. Uh, they might be completely worthless, but um, I still think they're really cool. And I'm sure people that visit the store would also think so as well, because they're very, very, very rare, especially in the UK. And we've got a whole bunch of other knick-knacky stuff as well, just little bits to add to the store, in case you want to get some little bits for Christmas, Secret Santa, all that sort of stuff. There's all ranges of uh, sort of price points on some of our toys, some as little as £5 and even less. Uh, but yeah, we've got this Wallace and Gromit. These are the Christmas editions, all the way back from 1988, I think it was. Uh, but they're definitely from the 80s, these ones. We've got a Stegosaurus dinosaur right there, uh, official Jurassic Park. Uh, we've got a Moana's magical fish hook. Uh, these don't look much, but these always sell. They're really, really popular. Um, what else have we got? We've got a Bionicle. This is Parak, uh, obviously from the uh, Lego Bionicle series. Uh, number 8560. So it will be one of the uh, older ones because it's got a four, uh, four digit serial code on it. We've got this alien out for a walk. Uh, Sorry about that, cut out there. But yeah, we've got this alien uh, going out for a walk. He's taking a face hugger for a walk. Pretty cool thing. It's like an old loot crate thing. Uh, but nice for Secret Santa. Uh, we've also got a whole bundle. Uh, this is a book set of Fighting Fantasy by Steve Jackson and Ian Livingstone. Who remembers these books? I used to love looking for these. Always used to go to the library, uh, you know, every so often and try and get some of these books. They was always hidden uh, on the shelves. But The Warlock of Firetop Mountain, I'm pretty sure that was quite a well-known hard one. Death Trap Dungeon, one of the hardest ever made. Um, they even made a video game of this, which was just as difficult to play. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. I used to love these things. Let me know in the comments if you did too. That's all we've got time for today. We've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming to the store, so make sure you check it out. Um, some really cool bits. Uh, so I don't like to show everything so that you can visit the store yourself and take a look. But yeah, some really nice things coming, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave us a like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you're new here and uh, leave us in the comments uh, leave us a comment in the comment section to let us know what your favorite item was that you saw today and uh, let us know what you'd like to see in the store coming up what sort of things do you collect which sort of things do you buy for yourself or for other people we'll try and get those things in the store as well but thanks a lot for watching give us a like as well and uh, see you soon